Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss dermatologic macroscopic terms. This video is very important because whenever you encounter any questions, they will describe in different terms how the skin lesion looks. So in today's video, we will learn what all those terms mean in the context of dermatology. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video for more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. We can divide all the macroscopic skin lesions as primary and secondary. In today's video, I will particularly discuss all the primary skin lesions with an example. First of all, what do we mean by primary skin lesion? These are de novo skin lesions that have not been altered by trauma or manipulation, such as scratching, rubbing, infection, and have not regressed. So, what are these lesions? These are macule, patch, papule, plaque, nodule, tumor, vesicle, and bulla. Let's start with macule. Macule is a flat lesion with a well circumscribed change in skin color of less than 1 cm. Here are two important points a flat lesion, which means if you touch it, you will not feel any bumps, and the other point is less than 1 cm. A good example is a freckle. Here you can see a picture. Now the patch. It is a similar skin lesion as macule but equal or more than 1 cm. A good example is vitiligo. Next one is papule. It is a raised solid skin lesion of less than 1 cm. For example, a wart. Here you can see a picture of warts on the big toe. When the same lesion is equal to or more than 1 cm, it is called plaque. A good example is psoriasis. Now, nodule. It is a deep palpable dermal or subcutaneous lesion of less than 1 cm. For example, dermatofibroma. The same lesion, if equal to or more than 1 cm, it is called a tumor, such as lipoma. Let's move to vesicle. It is an elevated fluid filled lesion or blister of less than 1 cm. For example, shingles. When it is equal to or more than 1 cm, the same lesion is called a bulla, such as femphigoid. So, in summary, the description itself will lead to a diagnosis. That's why we have to have a clear idea of all these primary skin lesions. In my next video, I will discuss in detail secondary skin lesions. Till then, stay connected. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This really does help YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching.